Ladies and gentlemen, I'm super excited to share this tool with you called Hello. This is a free and open source tool which can take just one photo and then you plug in any audio and it would make that photo speak or sing whatever is in the audio. Now there are plenty of other free and open source face animator tools out there but this one is the most natural looking and most realistic one by far. And yes, the code is available so you can download it and use it right now. And really quickly, here's a background of the best face animator tools out there right now. Now, just last week, this tool called Hedra dropped, and it's basically an online interface which does the same thing. So you can either generate audio using text to speech or upload your own audio and then you would drag and drop an image into here or generate a character and then it would animate that photo with your audio. And so here are some short examples. Here's a quirky fact. The Wilhelm scream, a famous stock sound effect, has been used in over 400 films and TV shows, including Star Wars and Indiana Jones. Who would have known? Now, the problem with Hedra is this is closed source. This is hosted on their website. Plus, it's heavily censored. So you cannot use NSFW images, nor can you even upload photos of famous people. Microsoft released their VASA 1 tool, which is essentially the same thing. It takes a single image and you plug in any audio and it would animate that face. Now the crazy thing about VASA 1 is it can do this in real time. Plus, there are certain settings you can manipulate on the face as well, such as the pitch, the yaw, and XYZ axes, as if you're manipulating a 3D model all my attention, all my time on listening. So instead of doing something else, I just listened, listened, and listened. Now, of course, with such a crazy technology, they have not released this to the public yet. Think of all the things that could go wrong with this real-time face animator. So we also cannot use Microsoft Vaso 1. Now, a few months ago, Alibaba released this tool called Emote Portrait Alive. And I still think this is the most realistic looking tool out there so far. The quality is just really good. When I was a kid, I feel like you heard the thing, you heard the term, don't cry. You don't need to cry. Crying is the most beautiful thing you can do. I encourage people to cry. I cry all the time. And I think it's the most healthy expression of how you're feeling. And I, I sometimes wish and it's the same thing. It takes in any audio, including speaking or singing, and it would make that photo speak or sing the song. However, the code is not available yet, so you can't actually download anything and run it on your computer. And so that brings us to Hello. This does exactly the same thing. It takes in an input audio, it takes in one image, and it makes that image speak or sing anything. You can even upload a full song and it knows how to parse out the instrumentals and only lip sync to the vocals. So before I show you how to use it and install it, here are some examples. What were they done with me? You can't dwell on something that might have been Bryce. But the way my dad was talking sounds like he would have thrown me in a nut house or something. No, 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 that, that's not fair. You can't condemn him for something he hasn't done. This is where that tree was, wasn't it? Yeah. Must have been a spectacular view. I have no defense, Bart, except to say I love him. I know that may sound stupid and sentimental to you, but it's true. And you can see it doesn't have to just work with realistic photos. It also works with 3D characters or 2D characters or even drawings. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. Now, there are several settings you can tweak to customize your video as well. So one setting is the pose. Same word. We got the Adam Zeiser. You guys always describe this Canadian note, which makes me wonder, is there a readily available high quality Canadian whisk? So this basically determines the movement of the head. So if you lower the pose, the head kind of stays still. If you increase the pose, the head moves more frequently and dynamically. Keep in mind, if you like increase the pose to a really high value, you're gonna get some artifacts. Like this head is gonna move all over the place and this could introduce some more noticeable flaws. And the next factor is expression. So this is basically the expressiveness of the face as the person talks. 
We can't forget that in those days, YouTube didn't exist, so if I wanted to rewatch the butterfly twist, I'd have to rent or buy the VHS and replay it over and over. So you decrease it, the face kind of stays still, the movements of his eyes, his eyebrows, his mouth also is relatively still. If you increase the expressiveness, then well, the talking is more expressive. Then finally, we can also control the lip movements. So this is how much the lips, or basically the mouth moves as the person talks. Now that the state budget's been signed into law, my Democratic colleagues and I are looking forward to digging back into the issues that affect Wisconsinites' daily lives. And finally, you can also do singing. That going back to this tab, it can also sync to a song. So you can upload a full song into Hello, and it knows how to filter out the instrumentals and only lip sync the character to the vocals. All right, so enough demos, enough about how it works. Let's actually jump in and try this out. So there's two ways to use this. One is to use it on Hugging Face, especially if you do not have a high-end GPU, then you're not going to be able to run this on your computer. The second way is to download it and run it locally, which I'll show you in a second. But for this Hugging Face method, go to this space, multimodal art slash hello, and then you can't actually use this right away. You need to duplicate it and pay like 80 cents per hour to run this in your own private space. All right, so going back to their GitHub page, if you scroll all the way down, so it says your face needs to be cropped into a square, so one-to-one -one aspect ratio. The face should be the main focus, making up 50 to 70% of the image. The face should be facing forward with a rotation angle of less than 30 degrees, so no side profile. And then for the audio, it must be in WAV format. It must be in English since our training datasets are only in this language. Ensure the vocals are clear, background music is acceptable. And the second way to use the tool is to download it locally. You can download it to your Windows machine. They have a separate Git repository for Windows. But for an easier method, we are using Pinocchio in our second method. I'm super excited to show you how to download and use Halo AI with a fantastic tool from Pinocchio. This tool makes using CLI-based apps on your PC incredibly easy, even if you've never used a command line before. So let's get started. Before we dive into installing Halo AI on your local machine, it's important to note that the initial setup might take some time. If you're installing a Python tool for the first time, your system will need to download several dependencies, so make sure you have a good internet connection. Additionally, AI tools like this one are hardware intensive, requiring a high-end GPU and plenty of RAM. If your local machine doesn't meet these specifications, you can use this tool on the cloud, such as through Hugging Face. Unfortunately, it's not yet available on Google Colab, but there might be support in the future. Now, let me introduce you to Pinocchio. It's a user-friendly tool that allows you to run CLI-based applications without writing a single line of code. You can find more about it on their website, pinocchio.computer. To get started, download the Pinocchio tool. Visit pinocchio.computer, navigate to the download section, and get the installer for your operating system. Once downloaded, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions to install the tool on your PC. With the Pinocchio tool installed, let's set up Hello. Open the Pinocchio tool, and you'll see a user-friendly interface. Click on the Discover section, find Hello listed under Verified Programs, or use the search function if needed. The tool will automatically fetch all necessary files and dependencies. This installation process might take a while, so I'm going to speed up the video while we wait. Just relax for a bit. Once everything is set up, you can run Halo directly from the Pinocchio tool interface. No need to open a command line, type commands, or worry about syntax errors. Just click start and you're good to go. After launching Holo, the Pinocchio CLI will provide a local web UI interface URL for you to work with the tool. 
you'll need to upload a square image and an audio sample as specified in their documentation. I have no defense. Finally, hit the submit button. Depending on your GPU and computer specs, the processing time may vary. For instance, my laptop with an RTX 3050 is quite old, so it will take me about an hour to create an 8 second video. If you have a more powerful PC, your processing time will be shorter. As you can see in the Pinocchio CLI interface, our task is progressing. The wait file is loaded and Hollow is working. My GPU is making a lot of noise, indicating it's working hard, haha. <laughs> It's been about 30 minutes, and we're only 18% complete, so this will take some time. There are 40 steps to complete before we get our result. Again, if you have a good GPU, feel free to install it on your computer. Otherwise, it might be better to use a cloud service. You can also duplicate the main space on Hugging Face for easier access. I'll pause the recording now and reconnect with you once the job is done to show you the final result. So guys, here is the final result. I have no defense, Bart, except to say I love it. It took me almost two hours to get the result from my local machine. Unfortunately, I was unable to record the final steps, so I couldn't show you the end of the process. That's it for today. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or what tutorials you'd like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.